Murder, violence, destruction, monsters. These are all sorts of things you find in horror movies. But some flicks go even further, delving into the worst thing that can happen to the world, an apocalypse. There have been plenty of films that tap into that primal fear of ultimate destruction and use it to form a terrifying cinematic experience. We covered 10 of these already in another video, which you should definitely go and check out as well. However, there's always more death and destruction when it comes to horror, so let's go double or nothing and explore even more apocalyptic horror movies you need to see. I'm Adam, this is What Culture Horror, and here are 10 more apocalyptic horror movies you need to see. Number 10. The Divide Facing the apocalypse with people you know is hard enough on its own, so imagine having to do it with a group of strangers. That's the kind of horror The Divide brings in, and it's way worse than simple social awkwardness. The Divide takes place in New York after a sudden nuclear attack. It follows a collection of survivors as they hunker together in a basement, taking refuge in a bomb shelter. But their survival soon becomes tested after low supplies, outside attacks, and paranoia rips them apart. It's fascinating to see how quickly polite society tears itself down in this film, as it doesn't take long for things to get uncomfortably violent. There's a visceral depravity to the divide, as the bloodshed is depicted with horrifying realism. However, it doesn't let your mind walk free, as it is also a psychological thriller. Seeing how far these people go into their desperation and watching the effects of radiation poisoning slowly taking over some of the characters is a recipe for a truly uncomfortable watch that plagues your mind and your stomach. The Divide is a film that doesn't hold back on the horrors of a nuclear apocalypse, which is something almost everyone fears. Number 9. Knowing If you had the option of knowing when you were going to die, would you take it? Adding to that, if you could find out when the world was going to end, would you want to know? Those are the questions this movie forces you to ask yourself, as it's a terrifying exploration of knowing the future. Yeah, go figure. Knowing centers on an astrophysics professor played by Nicolas Cage, who happens upon an encrypted message in a time capsule. This message features number patterns that predict disasters, with the last implying a devastating extinction-level event. He is even forced to act as he tries to decode the numbers and save his family. This 2009 picture certainly ups the ante when it comes to destruction, as there's plenty of death and dismay to capture the horror of the world ending. It also takes itself very seriously, which some might find aggravating. Still, others will cherish the severe tone, accurately capturing the anxiety and panic of self-awareness towards your own destruction. Of course, the movie star is infamously known for his over-the-top performances, which is why it's a shame this gritty and subdued role went under the radar. Number 8. The Girl with All the Gifts Zombie movies are a dime a dozen at this point. That's not to say they're all bad, far from it, as the zombie genre is still one of the most effective forms of apocalyptic entertainment, but they do tend to stick to very standard tropes. Still, there are always those special films that add some fresh blood to the undead, and this is one of them. The Girl with All the Gifts is set in a world ravaged by a fungal infection that turns people into hungries, this movie's versions of zombies. Years after this outbreak, a collection of infected children developed the ability to think and learn, despite their cravings for human flesh. One of these children, named Melanie, is soon taken on a journey to London to try and find a vaccine for the infection. This clever film does a wonderful job of exploring the zombie genre in an entirely different light. Using human slash zombie hybrids adds a whole different facet to the story and helps carry the film towards a shocking climax, with plenty to say about humanity, the future, and the generation of who will carry it. The Girl with All the Gifts is a zombie movie that tries something intelligent without skimping on the scares, pulling both off excellently. Number 7. Bird Box some people quickly labelled this film as a rip-off of the massively popular and influential A Quiet Place. Granted, there are similarities, but Bird Box doesn't get the credit it deserves as a thrilling apocalyptic tale. Plus, it's based on a book that predates A Quiet Place anyway, so there's also that. Bird Box is set in a world invaded by a mysterious force that causes people to kill themselves upon seeing it. 
Thus, humanity is forced into hiding to avoid the monsters, ensuring their eyesight is restricted whenever they go outside. Main character Mallory struggles against this as she journeys with her children to try and find a safe haven. The film expertly executes the tension and fear derived from the concept. However, what really helps to ground out the horror is the relationship between the central character and her children. Unlike A Quiet Place, this isn't a wholesome family unit working hard to stay together. Sandra Bullock's Mallory doesn't have a close bond with the kids, only one of which is hers biologically, not even opting to give them names. This adds an emotional side to the film, maintaining a tough human element among the sci-fi and horror. There's also now a recent spin-off movie named Bird Box Barcelona, but you're better off checking out the original. Number 6. Stakeland as discussed in the entry on The Girl With All The Gifts, zombie apocalypse movies are something everyone is used to. But zombies aren't the only living dead creatures capable of taking over the world. Enter vampires. Stakeland follows a vampire hunter who lives in a world ravaged by these blood-sucking creatures. This hunter, known only as Mister, crosses paths with an orphaned young boy and takes him under his wing. The pair travel northward in search of a new life, encountering vampires and a vast conspiracy along the way. The film comes with plenty of action and thrills by the way of the badass leading character and the terrifying monsters he slays. However, it also features a compelling cast of supporting characters who fill the film with heart. This is most notable in the often tepid but otherwise supportive relationship between Mr. and Martin, the kid he protects. In the end, Stakeland also plays up to the best strengths of Monster Apocalypse movies by showing the human danger involved. It's not just vampires who cause the downfall of civilization in this film, leading to some compelling plot twists and a great villain. Number 5. Hardware it's common in apocalypse movies to see technology crumble away. More often than not, this loss of the machinery humanity has come to depend on is what causes the world to fall to dust. On that front, hardware said, hold my beer, and presented a world where robotics still existed, much to the detriment of humanity. Hardware follows the events after a former soldier stumbles across a robot head within an atomic wasteland and gifts it to his artist girlfriend. The machine, which she wants to use in an art piece, soon begins to rebuild itself autonomously. Once it's up and ready, it goes on a human killing spree. The film is an absolute treat for cyberpunk sci-fi lovers, as it perfectly plays up the grittiness of the subgenre. The cold, ruthless robot is brought to life excellently with stellar practical effects, plus hardware's low-budget 90s vibes gives it a rustic charm that feels appropriately dystopian, yet creative and fun at the same time. This Richard Stanley-helmed offering is also a cautionary tale about the dangers of artificial intelligence, a terrifyingly relevant idea today despite hardware being over 30 years old. Number 4. Mad God Anyone who thinks of animation as a children's medium has clearly never seen Mad God. Let's just say, this is not the kind of Aardman related fun to try and distract your kids with. An experimental stop motion movie, Mad God follows a nameless figure who is sent down into a pit of monsters to annihilate it. That's how the film starts at least, but the narrative shifts with each act, presenting something more horrifying than the last as it progresses. Mad God is a smorgasbord of disturbing visual delights, as it shows off monsters and environments dripping with grossness and creativity. It's brought to life by the legendary Phil Tippett, known for his VFX work on Star Wars, Robocop, Jurassic Park, and more, who spent over 30 years putting the film together, making it an absolute passion project. The world depicted here is one of the cruelest ever put on screen. There is horror around every corner, as life in this setting is presented as a meaningless endeavor full of pain, suffering, and torture. Can stop motion truly be scary? Well, You'll get your answer if you check out Mad God. Number 3. The Domestics It's ironic when a movie set in a post-apocalyptic society has incredible world building. While it's technically the opposite of what's supposed to be going on, this is what you get in Mike P. Nelson's The Domestics. This movie takes place in a world where the ruling class used a devastating chemical attack to lower the population massively. Those left behind were divided into two distinct groups, people who gave into their wicked ways and became part of gangs, the gamblers, cherries, sheets, nailers and plowboys, and the domestics, who tried to live peacefully. 
The film follows a domestic couple as they travel across the country to visit family. Despite the bleak setup, this movie is a bona fide kick-ass adventure across a devastated America. It's full of pulse-pounding action as the main couple contend with a slew of gang members, all of whom approach killing in a distinct and unique way. This makes the movie a non-stop thrill ride full of bombastic action and some visceral violence. Still, it's not all fun and games, as there are plenty of harrowing moments too, and the central characters are forced into doing awful things that humans should never do. Ultimately though, this makes the action all that more cathartic. Number 2. The Sadness There are violent horror movies, and then there's this. If you weren't afraid of the end of the world before, you certainly will be after checking out this Taiwanese flick. The Sadness is a grotesque movie that shows a country ravaged by one of the most terrifying infections ever put on screen. It follows a young couple who attempt to reunite across opposite ends of Taiwan as a viral pandemic turns the country's citizens into bloodthirsty maniacs hellbent on causing as much pain and bloodshed as possible. You'll see some truly gruelling things in this picture, as it's an unfiltered take on the depravity humans are capable of. It's also a tough one to categorise, as it feels appropriate to call it a zombie movie in many ways, but the infection is more akin to people having their inhibitions stripped away. The most terrifying aspect of the sadness isn't the gore. It's the idea that once the rules of society break down, people will turn savage. The film also delivers scathing satire about society's reactions to pandemics, and it does so with the same amount of subtlety as product placement in a reality TV show. Still, there is a message to take from it. Number 1. The Road Plenty of the films discussed so far feature bombastic and over-the-top representations of the end of the world. However, The Road simply captures the unabashed bleakness that the collapse of civilization would bring. The movie, based on the book of the same name by Cormac McCarthy, follows a father and son as they attempt to survive in the harsh world after an unspecified catastrophe. They scavenge and search for a safe place to live as they are hunted down by cannibals and battle against adversity on every level. Safe to say, this is not easy to watch. The Road features a gritty and realistic depiction of survival that doesn't sugarcoat the tribulations of living in a post-apocalyptic world. It is harsh, brutal, and entirely unfair. The tone of this world is perfectly captured by the stellar performances of Viggo Mortensen and Cody Smith-McGee as the central man and child. They have great chemistry and always display a level of fear and caution, making you afraid of what lurks around every corner. Unfortunately, this isn't a fear you're often relieved from, as the challenges they face are horrific. The Road is a film that's just as likely to make you cry out of sadness as it is fear. And there we have it folks, our list of 10 more apocalyptic horror movies you need to see. But please do make sure you let us know down in the comments of your favourite apocalyptic horror movies. And while you're there, make sure you give us a like and a cheeky subscribe. If you want to follow me on socials and come talk horror, I am at strawn87 across all socials. Come and say hello to me on there. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week and the rest of your month. And until next time, take care.